this is BLT for the thoracic spine. So first you find a dysfunctional segment, one that's um, not moving so well or rotated. So she has one around C4. And I put my superior hand or my cephalad hand, um, my index finger and middle finger on that spinous process of C4. And I, do, and I find the, with my caudate hand, the inferior hand, C5. So I'm treating the segment between C4 on C5. So to motion test, I can motion, motion test flexion and extension. So flexion, I would bring the spinous processes apart. For extension, I bring them together. So she likes flexion, so I'm bringing the spinous processes apart. Now I can motion test rotation. So I'll bring the top vertebra toward me to rotate to the right. So the spinous process is coming toward me, so it's rotating to the right. And I can either stabilize with the bottom hand or move it away from me, and that would be rotating left. She does like rotation to the right, and the bottom one is going to the left. And now I can do side bending by bringing the spinous process also translate it toward me or translate it away. And she also wants to translate toward me. So that's, we find the balance tension. We can go direct or indirect. I'm going indirect for her. I'm going toward her freedom. And I hold until I feel it release. And then I reset. Flexion and extension. So flexion bringing the spinous process apart. Extension bringing the spinous process toward. Rotation to the right would be bringing the spinous process toward me. Rotation to the left, spinous process away from me. And that's moving freely in all directions. So we're moving the top vertebra on the bottom vertebra. And this is usually done prone, but I'm showing two, uh, lateral recumbent for demonstration. I repeat myself.